Welcome to Round Up. Here we are at Steel KS 2019. What in essence it means, we have plenty of great black metal bands, other extreme metal bands, and one of them is Black Beast from Finland. In case that band doesn't exactly ring your bells, it's because this band was hiatus for too many years. And now they are back with great album that just came out today. So here we have a three-man lineup of all of five of Black Beast. Who are exactly talking to? Can you please introduce yourself? Necrocorps Vogels. I am called Xiloside. And you, sir? Who wants to this? Which turns like Corpse Prince. Alright, first of all, it was released through your own label. How, how can we say, it? what kind of it is uh, as a job or a project to release your own music when you can not stand behind it as a label guy, but also a vocalist of the band? Uh, it's a lot of work when you do it proper. And uh, it doesn't matter am I in a band or not, but uh, of course when I put myself on uh, this music, I want to do everything perfectly, and uh, so far everything went really well. And uh, let's see what people like it. In other hand, I don't give a shit what people like it because uh, this has been my like goal since uh, '94, and uh, now it finally happened, and I'm really happy with the result. So in that way, I don't give a shit what people think. So. So you are totally immune to critic, even though it would be like calling you a pack full of shit. Yeah, I'm old enough to take a take a punch in your face. Yes, and uh, I respect much more uh, like a straightforward critic than some ass leaking. Which I was basically doing. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I like it. But yeah, uh, of course, uh, it's uh, it's nice to hear what people likes it if they like it or not, but uh, on the other hand, I don't really care. I, it's uh, okay for me, whatever they think about it. All right. How does your music uh, create? You are you are making the songs mostly or if not? Yeah, I, I do the songs. Uh, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, this is how I feel that I was listening to your great album, you said you have pretty much the kind of an 80s vibe con uh, combined with the early 90s. So not exactly first wave, not exactly second wave, but the kind of a missing link. Do you agree with this or, or if I, am I mistaken? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, mistaken. From me. From me. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, all those like, battery and stuff is really... Uh, uh, yeah, 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 you see, it's, all, it's also, always, yeah, yeah, it's uh, always. Also, like, rock and roll and, and the second wave, early 90s, black metal, is uh, where I get my inspiration. So, you are responsible for the kind of outlook of the band, also the lyrics, you're the vocal guy. How does your or do your responsibilities split among the band? Uh, it's uh, everything what I like and always liked since I found black metal. And it has been my goal since uh, something like uh, 93, 94. And uh, now it's finally done. And uh, I have always wanted to do this kind of black metal and uh, there is my vision and his great uh, songs, so that's good combination. Do you know very much for your like love and passion for old school black metal and extreme metal in general? You're not so much the new wave guy as it seems the younger generation is. Do you still have room and kind of an understanding for newer waves or is it all about just worshipping the old? Yes, of course I have. Uh, I'm not so narrow-minded guy. But whatever sounds good and they have a, a good message, I mean, in a black metal way, good message mm -hmm. behind, and it sounds really good, then it's good. I don't, I don't mind old school or not, but uh, uh, 
most of the cases it's uh, old school stuff what sounds good to me and uh, of course there is newer stuff uh, a bit let's say modern stuff what what is good but uh, yeah somehow my my taste is uh, for the old school all right so how do you write your lyrics do you have to have a certain message do you have any limits which kind of a box to you what you can write about and what is beyond the scope of Black Beast? I'm not gonna open it so well. Uh, you can read the lyrics and make your own decision about it. But uh, yes, uh, it was a uh, really strong message and uh, really strong meaning with everything. I was uh, in some kind of uh, uh, mental situation when I was writing them and uh, I was uh, like uh, I was really uh, feeling really like well when I was writing them and but like healthy and yeah. all that stuff and uh, yeah it was uh, like a mental stage when I was writing them so many bands nowadays especially go beyond the kind of our original uh, ideas and topics of black metal but what I mean is beyond Satan, beyond being, being anti-Christian and so forth. And nowadays bands are writing black metal out of topics that could not, never be seen as black metal back in the 90s, not to mention 80s. But on your album, Satan is mentioned many times and you are clearly pointing out that this is the kind of old school thing. So the question is, what is Satan and Satanic topics to you? Do they really need to be in the core of black metal? Of course, that's black metal. And uh, if there is no Satan, that's not a black metal. And uh, if, if, if you write lyrics about something else, then it's something else. And uh, there is so many different ways to uh, take the lyrics. I mean that... Uh, there is almost as many ways to think about them when you read them. And uh, it's about the uh, reader or listener, uh, how do you take it? So you are kind of a giving this kind of a possibility of, you know, interpreting your message instead of like saying, this is it. And if you don't understand it, piss off. Yeah, you can take it however you want and uh, if you take it in a different way, I, I have to take it. That's completely fine for me. But uh, if you if you like uh, say this is bullshit, it's your opinion. <laughs> it's your shit. All right, let's switch to you again because you're the main songwriter. So you write the songs, you create your riffs, and you make this kind of a overall atmosphere of a band. How much these lyrics mean to you? Are they uh, an essential part when you create the songs? Or is it just okay, whatever he brings with? Uh, I trust uh, what he is doing. And, you know, I, I do the, do the music and the riffs and the atmosphere and you know, stuff. And, uh, that's a good question. Like how, how much those lyrics mean to you as like when you're creating music do you have to read those lyrics to kind of get into the feeling or is your work kind of done when you're done with riffs? I actually do all the uh, music uh, before the lyrics. Um, uh, course, just doing lyrics after that. Yeah, partly. Uh, sometimes I have done some lyrics before and then I will just uh, fit them in a song but sometimes there is a ready song and uh, he is uh, telling me what part I should have vocals yeah, and lyrics and then, then I'm doing them uh, it's let's say 50 50 there was uh, with this album it was approximately half of them I was doing uh, beforehand and uh, then I was just uh, feeding them inside the song and uh, them I was doing after when he told me that okay let's put the lyrics here yeah uh, I, 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 
I uh, in what uh, 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 Blood last title was for me. I was like do the lyrics uh, to this this song title. Okay, and you know uh, he did uh, to me brings this idea it's all about it has to be about vampires uh, but no it's nothing to do it's nothing with that one part so what's it the message of nocturnal blood was? who wants to drink blood at night i know it's a stupid question but someone has to ask it it's beast it's beast it's you it's you me oh shit so i okay. if you don't want to drink some blood then you know, you're to blow up. all right but about your uh, pseudonyms. You both have corpse mentioned in it. It almost sounds like you are flirting with death metal. Why? Why is death and corpses such an important topic to you when you're speaking your artist name? Why? Why, why corpses? It's nothing to do with uh, death metal. It's part of black metal anyway. Yeah, but why, why? Why so? Why did you choose to go with flirting with corpses? Uh, I don't remember what was the idea back then. It was already almost 20 years ago when we uh, choose those names. But uh, yeah, of course, uh, we, we had some vision with it and uh, it, it, was, uh, it was our vision back then. And, uh, what can I say? We were like 20 years old or something. But it was a lot of fun ago. Long time ago. So this album took quite a few years to be done. Do we need to wait another, I don't know, 13 years to hear new music from Black Beast? I don't think so. Uh, I think we are going to do another record really soon. Which means like five years, two years? Hopefully it's like two or three years. Yeah, it's up to him. Yeah. What keeps your motor going uh, it's like those dark sinister feelings you know? what gives you those feelings is it that life is just full of shit or is it just planet earth is no. just you know I like blood those kinds of can you make it like uh, as a way to just get rid of the stress? I mean, people have been, there have been studies that kind of listening to dark music can be actually a way to just get rid of your shitty feelings and all that stuff. Is this something you can agree with or what's going on? Yeah, I, I've been full of stress a few years now, so I'm, when this thing uh, happened now. I have feel like you know natural high about this everything. You know, just you know, fucking uh, murder with our riffs and music. What about you? How important is it to you, for you to write these lyrics? How much importance it has for you to just kind of put it all out? Uh, it have uh, two different ways. If I wouldn't have a band, I wouldn't need to push them out anyhow. Yeah. Uh, but when I have a band, I need to do it uh, well, how I want it. And now I have done it and uh, I'm satisfied. How do you create these lyrics? I mean, like you said, that they're kind of empowering, you're like in a good mood. But do you need to pick certain topics in order to write these lyrics? I mean, do you have to get inspired or is it just something that happens out right out of like that? Not really. You know, it, it happens when I have a feeling. It, it took quite long to have the feeling to make the lyrics. I can't just start to write just like that. It needs to have a, a own uh, like mental stage or uh, or uh, right feeling. It said to me, I cannot uh, do uh, write this kind of music in summer. It's always autumn or winter. 
So it has to be kind of yeah. like a dark yeah. and depressive I'd even. Get some uh, extra boost from that. Can you express summer like feelings in a different kind of music then? Or have yeah, you done it? If, if, if I have to, yeah, it's more like some rock and roll or some, something. But more like putting your arm out and driving a car yeah. kind of music? Yeah. I must say that it was kind of an uh, unfortunate event, but I, get to, I got to see only a little bit at the end of the show. I won't go into the details because it has nothing to do with this, but anyway, what, how you seemed on stage where that you were full of energy, full of passion, you didn't really seem like guys 40 plus and getting bored of life, but you had the kind of an energy that so many younger guys could actually pick on. What keeps you giving this energy on stage? I mean, when you go on stage, what it is to you? Good question. I haven't think about it yet. That was my first time in the stage ever. First time? Did you first really? time. Yeah, so... You, you felt really confident, or at least you looked like very confident. Uh, I have been in my life much, much worse situations, so I'm not the uh, frightening little kid. So... There you have it, natural talent. I don't know natural talent, but uh, I know what I'm doing and uh, I don't... Like stress, uh, I I took took it how I thought that I have to take it, and uh, it went how I wanted, and uh, I'm I'm satisfied with it. Did you have to ponder what kind of a look you would have on stage? I mean, you had your blood all over, which unfortunately we don't have here. But I mean, you look like very much like those other bands could like. Hey, take a look at this band. They have something to show for. They are. They're for real. So, how much did you have to plan? How would the band look like on stage versus let's just get it on with it? I have never planned on it. I had, uh, I had a vision how I want to do it, and I have always done it. And uh, it's quite simple, and uh, I think it's quite visible. If you don't get the point, I'm not going to open it here. But uh, yeah, that's how black metal is. What will happen in the near future of Black Metal? Well, uh, Black Beast, I mean, we are talking about creating new music and all that stuff, but I mean, do you have shows, tours, whatever plan, or will you just now lay on your laurels and see how it falls? Uh, we have one more beast uh, agreed already, and uh, we are ready for the other gigs, but uh, yeah. Let's say, of course, we, we will check it out the possibilities, and we are not going to go to every, everywhere where we will maybe be asked. I don't know if anybody is going to ask us, but but uh, let's say we are ready for the offers. All right. Before we quit, I must ask you this: when I posted the review of your album online. There was a lot of uh, positive feedback and people were like, okay, wow, this is new, but I had never heard this before. Which brings me to the question, how much this kind of uh, social media exposure mean to you? Is it irrelevant or is it important now to get this kind of a new band to be seen, to be heard online? I mean, do you prefer like getting on the internet or do you just wait for the underground drums, so to speak, to spread the message. We don't even have a face. We, we are not a new band and we don't give a shit. Fuck you. <laughs> That's a brutal statement. Go fuck you on the audience. <laughs> Any words of wisdom to the audience? Uh, if you had to look, like, give like one tip, one word of wisdom. All right, what about you, sir? One word of wisdom to the audience. We are the wisdom. They are the wisdom, they go, ah. Oh. Nothing to add that to really. Go check out Black Beast, beat, physical release, out CD, LP, cassette, and obviously these guys play well on stage. So don't be a dumbass, go check out their music, and if you don't, well, you can pretty much call yourself a poser. Thank you, and have a good night. Yeah.
No, tulipa. Erilainen juttu. Ei, en mä tiedä, onko se niin erilainen. Tarvitaan alussa oli, ei, ei, ei.